how to Instagram network. So today we're gonna teach you guys how to basically get all the clout you want, get responses, and most importantly, make some friends online. I think I basically nailed down the technique to like get replies on this thing. And the real key about it is actually not to be cool. The biggest mistake I see a lot of people do is they go in with like a sleazy little message, copy and paste, and then think that Kendall Jenner is gonna reply. That is not how it works, okay? So the key with this is to have a really good strategy that's genuine and people can feel like they can relate to. So through my experience of three years on Instagram DMs, I'm gonna teach you guys what I know to get better responses. All right, so number one step is to find someone you wanna message. Because I'm kind of a magician, I'm gonna cut to a part where I explain how I find people to DM in the first place. Abracadabra. All right, so we're back. So I'm gonna show you guys how I DM Lauren Bostic. I basically found her through a podcast and I like her. And I wanna see if I can connect with her. So we're gonna pull up our bad boy Instagram and I'm gonna show you just exactly step-by-step step how I create a message. All right, so we have Instagram pulled up. Now step two is to come up with the right message. Now here's the number one question I ask myself. What value can I add to this person? So for Lauren, she's a blogger, she's a fashionista, she's an entrepreneur. So I know she's a busy lady. I gotta keep this message concise and valuable or else they're not gonna care. The biggest problem I see when people DM is they just ask for stuff. You understand that these people don't even have to have time to poop, probably. You gotta be able to empathize with that. So currently, after doing some research, I know that Lauren's actually pregnant. So I'm gonna make a comment kind of about how I empathize with her situation being a newfound mother. I'm not a mother, but maybe I can come up with something that could be relatable. Okay, let's, let's try. I'm gonna come back with a fully typed message. I'll see you guys in a little bit when I have it done. All right, guys. So we're back because my dad kind of came into my car and now we're filming this in my room. So I came up with a really solid message and just sent it to Lauren. Here is how it reads. Hey Lauren, I know it's probably super busy with the holidays, just wanted to shoot a quick message. Created a text message platform and I noticed some of our mutual friends are applying for it. And I at our mutual friend, Sarah. I thought you'd be a great fit to connect with your audience closer outside any platform. Let me know if this sounds appealing at all. We'd love to chat for 15 minutes. No reply, no worry. No, it's crazy, but all the baby madness. Congratulations. All right, so that's just one example of a DM I would send. Let me show you guys another one. All right, so message number two is for Cambry Schroeder. Cambry is a famous supermodel. She's also an entrepreneur. I've been dying to talk to her. The only problem is I literally commented on all her photos and sent her emails, but she hasn't responded. But I haven't sent her a DM. So let's just see if hopefully she can reply. So I sent her a message saying, Hey, Cambry, recently had a conversation with Business Insider. Think you're doing something amazing as an entrepreneur. Let me know if you'd be interested to be interviewed. Would love to connect you with my friends there. So this message for me is sweet. It's short. It's valuable. I think for her, maybe she would like publicity and I'm not asking her for things. I don't know if you can tell, but throughout any single DM, I don't want to look salesy. I want to provide value. So another hack I have is if you're messaging someone and you don't think you can give value, introduce them to someone else. Introductions are key in business or networking because you don't have to necessarily have all the knowledge. You just need to introduce someone to them. So that is number two. I'm gonna show you guys another type of message. If you guys don't know, I'm working on a startup that basically requires me to print on subscription boxes. So I'm gonna give it to one of our partners for one of my companies. I have a gift for David. Oh, that's very sweet Can I leave it you. here? <laughs> yeah, let him know it's from Jane. Yeah. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Thanks. So fun fact, the company Mola Printing, which you guys just saw, I met probably through DMs. So basically all the businesses I've done or relationships I've made were probably done through some cold email or message approach, which is insane because it's crazy how you can meet like strangers on the internet and do something kind of cool together. Actually, if you guys want to learn more about Eat Like, which is the business I've been talking about, it's my subscription box company. I'll link it below. It's very exciting. We're launching in two weeks. So yeah, that's just one of the projects we've been doing at my business. So now on to DM number three. Getting a oat milk green tea matcha latte because you know how we do it right. All right, guys, so I grabbed my matcha green tea latte. It's crucial for me to have this drink. And one third way you can outreach someone is by sending something casual. I think it's just so important to have a sense of humor when you're outreaching people. So if you have someone that like you want to get to know better, but you don't know how to like break the ice, do it with humor. So I'm going to send a message to Blake Michael. He's an actor on Disney Channel and Lemonade Mouth, if you guys don't know. And I know he's vegan and we kind of joke around matcha. So I think I'm going to send a photo of me with matcha just to keep it casual. Well, let's see if he responds. Okay. <laughs> okay, that should do. <laughs> and then we're gonna write the caption, she's vegan. <laughs> okay, let's see if he responds. 
I feel like I should DM more celebrities like Dua Lipa or something. I feel like that'd be funny for the video. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to you guys when I DM a lot more people using whatever three strategies, whether it's giving someone value, introducing someone to someone, or doing something humorous and kind of funny. So I'll get back to you when we have our final results and see if anybody, anybody responds. All right, I'll see you guys later. So it's been a few hours since I last saw you and so far, no replies. And here's the thing, you gotta be patient. I'm not giving up. I'm going ham on the emails actually. So like you saw in the beginning, I basically reach out to people that I find extremely extraordinary valuable and I actually do my research upon so I just listened to a podcast called The Pitch and one of the people on that podcast was named Andrew and Andrew owns a startup and I liked his story I liked his ideas so I'm shooting him this email keep in mind this is like a older demographic because I work a lot with businesses so I have to like format the messages a little bit different than like maybe a Gen Z influencer <laughs> so I'm doing this message on email because first of all email primarily works better if you're trying to work with like maybe brands or people that are like more in like the industry. So that's just a very helpful tip. If you ever want to use a tool to get people's emails, I literally just find their name and I use a tool called Rocket Reach. I'm literally going to blow your mind. This is not sponsored. I actually genuinely like it. My friend Justin recommended it to me and it's life altering. So basically you search someone's name and it literally pulls up all the contacts and you can get their email and contact info. So all I did was copy and paste their email using Rocket Reach. It's a little bit expensive, but it's really worth it if you are trying to reach people with, you know, a busier schedule because they literally get their email. So once I find their email, I type them out this message. I kind of encapsulate how I wanted to give them value. So for this, I use hack number one, which is giving them value. I basically said, hey, Andrew, overheard your podcast on the pitch and was astonished at the confidence. I know you must be crazy busy, so I'll cut the bullshit. The reason why I'm talking in this way in tone is because from the podcast, I got a sense that he's like a no, like he's a very busy guy. Like he's really literally running a $3 million company. He doesn't have time to fucking read an email. So I kind of realized that I need to talk in that tone. You have to be empathetic to people's time. I'm telling you, if you write a long paragraph they're gonna shut it down unless you're empathetic to it right that is the key with dming people i've realized that it, throughout my journey like if you just even acknowledge that you care about their time they're gonna read it so really helpful tip care about people's time you don't want to waste it so then i followed up saying my name is jade i started a text message software platform and i wasn't sure if anyone cared but we got 10,000 contacts in the first day then i added my value proposition which is with that i built a podcast to interview startup founders a link to my podcast basically kind of giving social proof and i finished it up saying if you're interested please let me know. I would love to hop on a 15 minute phone call. So I'm being very obvious with you guys on this, but just make sure you value people's time. And also make sure you guys contact them on a platform you think they're going to open. If they're older, go through the email route or LinkedIn. If they're younger, go on Instagram. So I thought I'd put this tip out there if you're struggling to get replies from people, but just because I know that they might not look at Instagram DMs. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. So it's officially five days later. We have DM'd a few more people since I last saw you. And let's just say the results are promising. I'm not joking. I only give advice. I genuinely believe it and it works. So if you do it right, let me know. Tag me on your Instagram post. It really does work. Let me just show you. All right, so before I get too ahead of myself, let's just show you guys who replied and exactly what I said to them to get them to reply. All right, so Blake from Lemonade Mouth did reply. I said, I'm going vegan. <laughs> and he says, no way. And then I said, I'm gonna try to at least for five days. He's like, you can do it. So we did have a little bit of conversation back and forth, which is nice to know. And just to be frank, me and Blake met before. So I guess we already have that mutual connection, but we haven't talked in a while. So if you know someone, but you're not very close, close to them, you know, adding humor or something kind of funny will help break the ice. So I would most likely use that technique for that scenario. Okay, so the second response we got is from Cambry Schroeder. I basically said, hey, let me introduce you to someone I know. And she's like, I'm down. And she replied the next day. So if you ever send DMs, don't be discouraged if you don't get an instant response. It literally sometimes takes a week before I get responses sometimes. So try it out and it should work. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get a response from the skinny confidential. Lauren, I love you. I actually genuinely wanted to reach out to just know you but it's okay i'm not offended things happen and we move on however i did want to share i dm'd gabriella witted and she basically is a singer i love her videos she makes a lot of body positivity videos she's like a million subscribers i never really talked to her in my life and we don't even have any mutual friends so i cold dm her and she responds in the same hour saying hey love the chat and i'm psyched we have a phone call literally tomorrow so love her and I was really surprised about that. Like I really go with the intention of, I don't know if these people respond. I don't DM people with the mindset of like, ah, they're gonna respond to me, like I'm valuable. Like I generally don't know. So it's always a surprise to see who responds and it's very consistent in the way it works. It's just human psychology. If you're valuable to people, you come with, you know, something to give them versus taking, they're gonna open it and respond. Oh my God, we don't, guys. Okay, so we just got a response from Jason Fox. If you guys don't know who Jason Fox is, he is currently the founder of Earbuds, which is an app, but he's also an NFL player. He used to play for, I believe, the Dolphins. <laughs> 
Okay, so if you want to know what I said to Jason, I basically said, hey, Jason, I thought about you. I worked on a platform with text message marketing and would love to see if your company would be a good fit for it. So then Jason responds saying, hey, Jay, thanks for reaching out. Let's have a phone call next Monday. <laughs> Are you actually stoked? I didn't think he was going to respond like as a former NFL player or celebrity. Like I'm sure he has way better things to do. So that's unexpected. Wow. So this video did not go as expected. It went in a completely other direction. We basically got four out of the five people to respond with the exception of Lauren because she's probably busy. She's pregnant. It's okay. I'm not offended. But if you guys use this technique, let me know if it works for you. I hope you guys can get something out of this video and I'm going to go head over to my phone call with Jason Fox next week let you know how it goes if you would like to see a follow-up video of me maybe dming more people and just taking you along more of this journey let me know in the comments below and shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner just comment below guys if there's one thing you learned from this video do not take from people give value and be nice the worst thing you could ever say to someone is let me pick your brain that is this no do not say that take some of these tips you can use any of these methods it will work way better than let me pick your brain okay i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys so much and peace <laughs>